Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra, and today I'm doing a collab with Dana. Um, this month is my birthday month, so I decided to celebrate my birth. I'm going to do a collab, so every video I upload this month will be a collab. Um, on Sundays will be some sort of create a sim, and then Wednesdays will be a build. And I'm kicking this month off with a build video um, with Dana. We did we did the shell challenge, so she made me a shell. I made her a shell. You know how shell challenges work. So this is the shell she made me. Um, I don't know why, but when I when I was placing it, I was like, it, it needs to go in the snowy escape, like, place. I don't, town? I don't know. Um, I don't know why. I just felt that. And it was going to be a home, and then it was going to be like a, a ski resort, I guess. Um, and then it became a sushi restaurant. I don't know why. I'm sure she was envisioning some cute little house, but I decided to make a sushi restaurant. So <sighs> I've always wanted to make a sushi restaurant. Like ever since this pack came out, I was like, oh, never got around to it until now. So I'm really excited. I am so happy that she Agreed to collab with me. Um, so if you don't, if you're not subscribed to her, make sure to go subscribe to her. She's awesome. She puts out really good videos. She's really underrated in my opinion. Um, I'll have all of her info down below. So it'll be so hard for you not to go watch her videos and subscribe. Anyways, so I should probably talk about my build. So. I used a lot of Snowy Escape stuff, like, as much as I could, and yeah, this took so long, and I've never been to a sushi restaurant, like, I've been to, like, there's this place where I live, and it's, like, where they cook in front of you, I don't know if that's considered sushi, I don't get sushi when I go there, so I don't know if that counts, so I kind of based it off that, I guess, but I've never been to, like, a straight up, like, Japanese sushi place, so, I tried, but I, it's so cute. Like, I had a hard time with the layout. Like, it took me so long. This build took me so long. All builds take me forever, honestly. I'm so indecisive. I'm like, oh, that'd be cute there. And then, like, four rooms later, I'm like, oh, just kidding. Gotta redo the whole house. <laughs> Or build or whatever but um so what i'm working on right here i would i guess you could call like the formal dining like this is where i don't know this is just the formal dining i don't know if this is play friendly i forgot to check oops so I, it probably isn't well actually i'm sure some of it is but i'm sure majority of it isn't so oops um i will say i did do some stuff off camera because I didn't want to have an hour long video so you'll have to wait till the end to see what act the actual end result um but yeah this was a lot of fun I'm glad I finally got to live out my sushi rest sushi bar sushi restaurant dreams <laughs> um yeah I don't really do my other builds other than houses and I want to like not always do house I think building houses is just like my comfort like I'm like oh I know how to build a house it's easy and I like decorating houses and so I'm trying to like not do houses all the time because <laughs> it's a problem I'm trying to think outside the box you know step up my build game probably won't last long but whatever um so yeah um, yep, this is a restaurant. I like, I felt like there was so much, like, dark 
so I did like lighter tables which I think look cool um, and I was trying to make like you know how like I don't even like they're like little cubbies you can eat in at sushi or like I guess places in Japan they have like little cubbies so I was trying to mimic that and that took so long because I wanted to use those dividers because that's what they use those dividers for I think I don't know I've never been to Japan I really want to go but yeah, so I I struggled with that. I love where that is, but you can't get back to the back behind seats. So I was like, that's pointless. <laughs> um, and I tried making, like, you'll see in a minute. I tried making, putting like a chef thing and then doing like a circle with tables around it. So it's like those places where they cook in front of you, but it didn't work out. It, right here. See, I'm trying... To make like a table it didn't work i think one day i'll try and revisit that idea but for now it's not <sighs> that's okay though but yeah so here's those little cubby thingies i don't know what they're called but i'm sure some of you might know if you know you should let me know no down below because i like like you push a button sometimes and then it's like on a conveyor belt and it's like boop, and gives you your food someone has to know what I'm talking about um so I decided to decorate them a little bit I feel like most of the time they're just like one person but I did two um yeah it was so fun this pack is so good it's one of my favorites it has the best items and I love snowboarding and skiing it's so fun even though I kind of wish they were in seasons because they were in The Sims 3, they were included in Seasons. But I really love the items in this pack. So it's like, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and those heaters. I was hoping it was going to be snowy where I built this, but it's not. Which makes me kind of sad. Because it's called Snowy Escape and then there's no snow. Oh, here's the ugliest sign I've ever made. I asked my cousin, I was like, is this ugly? And he just stared at it and he was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, thanks for the honesty. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, if I ask for advice, I want, like, the straight up. Don't be like, oh, no, it looks good. Like, no, tell me. If it looks stupid, tell me. It might hurt my feelings, but that's fine. I'd rather put out something cute rather than ugly, you know? Like, cute with hurt feelings or ugly with false confidence, I guess. I don't know. I had a hard time decorating, which was weird, because I just didn't know what to put in. I was like, what What do you put in a, res like, a restaurant? Like, tables. Like, when I go to a restaurant, I'm not like, oh, let's look at the pictures. You know? I think the only place that I... There's, like, two places that have the notable things. And that's, um... Bees, those lights above the tables, you know, they're all different. And, um, <laughs> chilies, their tables annoy me. I think they changed them though. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how this conversation got here. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, so like I said before, I was trying to, I've been trying to expand my horizons with my build, so. I did a pond. I never do ponds. Ever. I don't know why, but I just don't. So I did a pond with a rock path. I love rock paths. They're so cool. Um. Oh, so here, because there's those tables. I don't know what they're called, but um, I figured it'd be cool to have some of those in. Like, I feel like it could be like, I don't know if this is a thing. In oh, it's like, oh, what is that called? There's like places where you can, the melting pot, isn't that a place? Where you can like cook stuff at your table and it's like they don't really help you or something. I don't know, I've never been there, but um, that's kind of what I had in mind. So it's like some of it is table service, but then you can request these tables up here and it's like you do it yourself. So I'll add a little hot pot. I don't know if that works with a restaurant. You might be able just to have your sims walk in there and do it though, so. I don't know, and I made it, it's a little section. I 
really, I think the upstairs is a poppin'. I'm like, I'm pretty proud of my upstairs. It's cute. Um, yeah. It was, the layout was kind of hard. Because I feel like with a restaurant, I would have done a little bit bigger. But since it's a shell challenge, I can't change anything. So I didn't. But it's cute. Dana did a good job with this shell. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see what she does with my shell. If you want to play with it, you can upload. It's on the gallery. I'm, I and you can. Yeah, I don't know. I know some people like to do shells, but it's just up there for fun. I don't plan on taking it down. So, if you want to, you can go find it on the gallery. My name is Brave Die Seven Six Nine. I think. I have never talked about why my origin ID is that, but it's because I got hacked a few years ago. <laughs> and they went in and started changing all of my um, s stuff, but I caught them in time. And at the time, the only way to change your origin ID name was to call them. And I was like, I'm not going to call them. Like, that's a pain. So I, it was like two years later it was like it was like right when the sims 4 came out i think it was like it was like 2000 uh what did sims 4 come out 2014 it was like 2015 16 when this happened so it was like two years and i had already like adjusted to it and i was like that yeah that's my name and then they finally made it where you can email them about it so i emailed them and i was like i got hacked can you fix all my stuff? Like, I couldn't access my account. Like, I couldn't change. I think there was, like, something I could like, I don't know. It was a disaster. Anyways. But, so I can change it. I just haven't. I don't know if I will because it's kind of funny. Um, I feel like one day I should so it matches my channel name. So it's easier to find my stuff. I just, it's, it's just funny. Well, we're getting to the end of the video, so I just want to say thank you to Dana for collabing with me. If you're not subscribed to her, go to her channel and subscribe, and she's amazing. Like, I love her videos, and she's just so sweet, and she just deserves all the love. So make sure to go subscribe to her. Thank you so, so much for collabing with me, Dana. I hope we can collab again in the future. Um... And make sure to subscribe to me and like and comment and do all the things and make sure to do that to Dana too. Mostly her. And then I'm the afterthought. We should do it to both. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can come back and enjoy my birth month with me. It's gonna be so much fun and I have so many awesome people coming this month. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end this here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you Monday or Sunday with my next club. Alright, bye!